Okay, this is Math 200. We're looking at the notes for Chapter 6.4. We're long dividing, long dividing. So to start out with this lesson, before we jump in and do this, which we are going to do, let's go in our Wayback Machine to when we long divided uh, numbers, in the good old days when we worked with just numbers in math. All right, and so um, let's take a look. We, we would ask ourselves, how many times is 31? Going to 6, it doesn't. So then we look at how many times is 31 going to 64. No overbids. Just get the prices right. No overbids. So we'd say twice. Two times. So 2 times 31 is 62. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use different colors here. And then we always would subtract, right? Subtract. And then we'd have uh, 2... And bring down the 8. And then 31 doesn't go into 28, so we just put a 0 there. And way back in the olden days, you would have a little R, remember, remainder, remainder 28, like that. Okay, so what your, what your uh, teachers, arithmetic teachers, probably didn't tell you was we could do this. The remainder over the divisor. And then that is 20 and 28 thirty-firsts. Like, that's like the exact answer in fraction form. They usually didn't do that. They usually had to do, if you didn't do the remainder, you did a decimal point and then you did a, a decimal approximation to hundredths or thousandths or whatever. Ooh, that's because we're a base 10. All right. If we wanted to check it, if we wanted to check this, we would take 31 times 20 and then whatever we got there we would add 28 and that should work out to be 648 so let's see uh 310 and then doubled is 620 plus 28 is in fact 648 so it does work out let's do it with this so, in some ways it's a little easier, and in a lot of ways it's a little harder. Um, the, the way that it's easier is you only focus on the first term. So this is a first degree binomial being divided into a second degree trinomial, but you only focus on this first term. So you ask yourself, what do I multiply C by? So it's C squared. Well, the answer should come back C. C times C is C squared. So we're going to write that down. Do the distributive property. So that's something we didn't have to do there. Um, C squared plus 8C. And now here comes the other tricky part. Years and years and years of teaching math. This is where the mistake happens usually. You subtract the entire binomial. So look, if I had c squared plus 8c and I was subtracting it, you would do the distributive property and get minus c squared minus 8c. So that's what happened there. You have to remember to get it out of this term. Usually everybody remembers the first one. It's that second one that messes people up. So that goes away. That should always happen. If the first term in the um, polynomial doesn't uh, disappear, you did it wrong. So... Um, 6 minus 8 is negative 2c. Bring down the minus 18. And now, let's have another go at it. What do I multiply c by in order to get negative 2c? Well, the answer is negative 2. So if I put negative 2 times c plus 8, do do negative 2c minus 16. And so what I used to do years ago when I would teach this is I would make it a minus a negative and a minus a negative. Only when my students did that, I noticed they would still read it as a negative. And so what I want you to do, instead of minus a negative, make them into pluses. And make it like a ridiculously long plus so you know you changed it. Like if you look back on it, you'll know, oh, I changed it. Or, you know, I made those really dark and well in red I'm using different colors so it's easier to see all right negative 2c positive 2c gone that's all we should happen 
Uh, negative 18, positive 16 is negative 2. Now, we're not going to do a remainder. Don't do a remainder. We're going to say plus negative 2 over C plus 8. And now, unlike here when I was working numbers, where I could just make it 20 plus 28 31 and make it 20 and 28 31 I can't do that because this doesn't have a C plus 8 on the bottom. So I can't just connect that and make it negative 2 and negative 2 plus. Um, so this is the answer. That's it. Done. Uh, if you'd like, instead of saying plus a negative there, you could just have a minus 2 over C plus 8, and that would be fine. All right? Oh, uh, and let's do the check on this. So what would the check look like on this? That would be C plus 8 times C minus 2, so just like what I did there, and then plus just the remainder. And that will work out to be this. If we do the distributive property twice, C squared minus 2C plus 8C minus 16 plus negative 2, combine up like terms, and voila, C squared plus 60 minus 18. All right? Okay, so let's do uh, number two, number three, number four. These are all just uh, more practice. So I'm, I'm going to do these a little faster, a little less explanation, just so you can see some repetition of long division, okay? So let's keep going. That's six minutes in. All right. I'll still try to switch up the colors in the same way. So number two, uh, y plus one into y squared minus two y plus three. So let's, what do I multiply y by to make it y squared? That would be y. So y plus one, doot doot, y squared plus one y. Subtract both of them. Remember that's negative two and negative one, so that is negative three y, bring down the plus three. Now I wanna match that, so multiply by negative three, negative three times y plus one, negative three y minus three, so don't get excited here. Remember, we're going to change both of the signs. So that becomes a plus. That becomes a plus. That goes away, but this doesn't. This ends up with a remainder of 6, which is no big whoop. We just go back up here and say plus 6 over y plus 1. And we're done. All right, let's look at the next one. We got 3w into 6w squared plus w minus 2. All right, let's have at it. So we're going to multiply. What do I multiply 3w by to make it be 6w squared? Um, and that would be 2w. Now, if that's not jumping out at you, there is a trick. You can take this 6w squared and take that. Oh, wait, I didn't write down the whole problem, though. Make sure you write down the whole problem, 3w plus 2. Otherwise, you know, trouble. Uh, so you could take this 6w squared, write it down, and take that 3w and put it underneath and then reduce and get 2w that way. And so instead of asking yourself, you know, what do I multiply this by to get that, you can literally divide it and, and get the 2w that way if you want. All right, so 2w times 3w plus 2. Distributive property, 6w squared plus 4w. So we're only ever focused on that first term every time. So that's what's going to go away, minus, and this is sort of just like collateral damage. That didn't go away, but that's okay. We'll deal with that next. So that cancels off, and we end up with negative 3w minus 2. What do I multiply 3w by to make it be negative 3w? That would be negative 1. And negative 1 times 3w plus 2 is negative 3w minus 2. Ooh, this is going to be winner, winner, chicken dinner right here. 
So we make that into a plus, that into a plus, that goes away, that also goes away, no remainder. So this is our answer, 2w minus 1 times 3w plus 2, if I multiply that out and add it up like terms, I'd get 6w squared plus w minus 2. All right. Long division. Let's keep going. Six, four, ten minute mark. So number four, it's a little more tedious. I don't think it's really that much more difficult. It's 2x plus 3 into a polynomial with four terms. So 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 2x plus 5. So that is a third degree polynomial. So let's do that. We've got 2x times what gives me 2x cubed. So we're missing an x squared. So x squared. Oh, that question comes up sometimes. Students ask, why do you write it there? I write it there because that's where it's going to end up lining up. It really doesn't matter where you write the answer on the top, the quotient. So 2x cubed plus 3x squared. Oh, this is going to be a little bit of a weirdie. So we subtract... And we got rid of that one like we wanted to, but we also got rid of that one. Oh no. So now we bring this down and this down. Kind of jump to here. So what do I multiply 2x by to make it be negative 2x? That would be negative 1. Negative 1. <laughs> and then negative 1 times 2x plus 3. Do it, do it. Negative 2x minus 3. And we're going to remember to change both sides. So that's a plus, that's a plus, that goes away. We end up with 8. And that is going to end up in our answer then. So x squared minus 1 plus 8, the remainder over the divisor, 2x plus 3. And that is our quotient for that one. All right, and then it says number 6. There are two methods for dividing polynomials. When do we have to do long division? That question actually came up. Oh, wait, I didn't. I skipped number five. Let's do number five first, and we'll answer that. You can think about that question while we're doing this one. So 6m to the third minus, oh, I see. So this is 6m to the third, and if you look at your packet, it goes minus m squared, but then it goes right to minus 3. We, we can't do that. It has to be in strict descending order. So that means we go 3, 2, and then there should be a 1, and then nothing. So we're going to say plus 0m. So 3, 2, 1, and then nothing. It's got to be in strict descending order. So no, no skipsies. We can't, we can't go for in between there. Um, so now let's take a look. What 3m times what gives me 6m cubed? That would be 2m squared. So 2m squared times 3m minus 5. 6m cubed minus 10m squared. And now remember, we're going to change both signs. So minus on this, plus on that. And so when we add straight down, remember what's there, even though we never write it there, but it's always there, right? You see ones, ones all the time. I see ones all the time. Uh, do you see one though? No. see one. All right, so negative one and plus 10 is 9m squared plus 0m. So we needed that 0m as a little placeholder for us. So now what 3m times what is 9m squared? That would be plus 3m m times 3m minus 5, do, do, 9m squared minus 15m. Change both signs, minus and plus, and so 0 plus 15 is 15m. Ah, gravity. Ah. 15m minus 3. And now what do I multiply 3m by to make it be 15m? That would be a plus 5. 
So 5 times 3m minus 5 is 15m minus 25. And remember to change both of the signs. So minus there, plus there. So a negative 3 and a positive 25 is a 22. And that's our remainder. So here I got to get rid of that. Plus 22 over 3m minus 5. All right. Lovely, lovely. The number six asks, okay, hey, why do we have to long divide? When do we have to long divide? You have to long divide when you have binomials, when, you're, when you are dividing a binomial. A binomial. Because remember, you, you cannot cancel things that are being like added or subtracted. So that's what seven and eight are basically stressing that fact when we look at seven. So you're dividing a binomial, then you have to long divide. All right, let's look at seven. And that one we won't have to. We'll get to go to our way back machine and do an easy one here. Number seven is four a to the fifth minus eight a to the third plus two a all over two a. This easy peasy lemon squeezy because we just do 4a5 over 2a minus 8a3 over 2a plus 2a over 2a because this is like a common denominator. Remember when you have a common denominator and then you just write it as one thing and then put all the stuff on top that you're adding? We're doing the reverse of that. We're kind of splitting up the band and taking 2a into each one of those. And so now we reduce it. 2a4, we reduce it, 4a squared, we reduce it, 1. Much easier than long dividing, <laughs> all right? And then number 8 is a long division problem. So we have h squared plus 3, uh, and it's a weird one. Of course, it's a weird one. Um, h4, remember, we need strict descending order, so we're going to have to add a 0 h3 plus 2h squared plus 0h and minus 5. And on top of it, it's extra weird because this h squared plus 0h plus 3. I need a placeholder there. It's got to be strict descending order. So 2, 1, nothing. 4, 3, 2, 1, nothing. Don't worry, there won't be anything like this on the test. I don't even think on the assignment either. It's in the note packet, so I'm going to do it. All right, so we got this uh, one, two, three out, one, two, three, I'll, I'll end up right here. H squared, H squared plus zero H plus three, do the distributive property, H four plus zero H three plus three H squared. And then we go minus, 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 so that goes away, that essentially goes away. This is a negative one h squared plus zero h minus five. And so multiply by negative one. Negative one times h squared plus zero h plus three, distributive property, negative one h squared minus zero h minus three and change all the signs. Remember to change all the signs. So that's a plus, that's a plus, that's a plus. We end up with negative two. And so that's our remainder plus negative two over h squared plus three. Okie dokie, that's it for 6.5.